Welcome back to the Codex CLI Mastery Series. In this video, we're going to deep dive into agents.md. So in the setup video, I showed you the init command that you can use to create an agents.md file that gives Codex your project context. But that's just one level. There are actually three levels of agents.md, and when you understand how they work together, that's when Codex becomes really powerful. So today I'm going to break down all three levels and show you how you can use them to unlock Codex's full potential. So quick recap, in the previous setup and quick start guide video, we created an agents.md file in our project folder that had conventions and instructions for Codex to follow that were related to the next JS app we were building. That's level two of agents.md. There's also a level one and a level three, and we're going to talk about all three levels today. Level one is global preferences. Level two is project rules, which is what we set up in the quick start video. And then we've got level three, which is folder specific conventions. So we can set different project context and instructions at each level, and they can all work together as a cascading effect to allow Codex to be a lot more effective and powerful when it is working on your projects. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to set global preferences that work across all of your projects. You'll know how to create project specific rules and you'll know how to add folder specific conventions within your projects. Finally, you'll know how to make them all cascade together perfectly so that you can get the most out of your codex sessions. This is agents.md mastery, let's dive in. So firstly, I'm going to launch a new codex session. You can see here that we're in our codex demo project directory. This is the same directory we were working in on the quick start and setup video. If you haven't watched that yet, I suggest jumping in and watching that one first. So what we're going to do here is launch our new codex session. In that initial setup video, we created an agents.md file in this project directory at the project level. So what I'm going to, going to do here is just say to codex, show me the full contents of agents.md. As mentioned, we've already got this file created. If we wanted to create one from scratch, we would use the init command, which you can see on the screen above. So we can see here Codex has shown us the full contents of agents.md and again this has been created at the project level which means that's level 2. So think of it as a pyramid, level 1 we've got global, level 2 we've got our project and then level 3 we've got subdirectories within our project. This at the moment is level 2, this is our project context. The way the cascading effect of agents.md files works is that Codex reads all three and then merges them. So when you create a file, it reads your global agents.md first, if it exists. It then reads your project agents.md and it will then read the folders agents.md if you're in a subfolder. So it then applies all of those rules that match when it then executes whatever task you've assigned. And what makes this really powerful is it allows you to have personal coding style that's applied everywhere. So you can have global settings that apply across all projects that you work on. You can then have uh, conventions within your project. So if you want specific rules and context for your project, you can set that at the project level. And then you can have even more specific instructions and context for subfolders. So for example, you might have UI specific rules specifically for components you can use that at the subdirectory level. So not only does this make Codex a lot more powerful when you use all three levels, but you can also save yourself a lot of time by setting those global rules that apply to all projects. That just saves you time because then whatever new project you create by default, it's going to first read those global rules that are in the global agents.md and then use that as a baseline when it then works on uh, your new project. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a global agents.md file that will have rules and conventions that apply to all projects. First, let's just check to see what approvals setting we're on. You can see we're currently on read only. Let's flick over to auto so that Codex can execute tasks without needing our approval. I'm now going to paste instructions here. We can see we're telling Codex to create an agents.md file at the Codex agents md level with this content global coding preferences we've got personal style and code quality we've just got some basic instructions here that we want to assign at the global level they're just basic style guidelines at the moment you can see it wants to run the command to create the file at the global level so a really good way to set specific rules if there's if there's coding best practices you want 
codecs to follow. This is where you would set them. You would set it at the global level. Then it's going to apply to all projects that Codex works on. You can see here it's finished. It's created the file at the uh, global level with the requested global coding preferences. So the CLI can pick up your style guidelines automatically. Let me know if you want to tweak or extend it. Now what we can do is follow up and just confirm that it was created successfully. So you can do this for any task or file that's created. We just want to confirm that that file was created successfully. And you can see that Codex will now search for that file and confirm that it exists. And it has said yes, it exists and contains the requested global coding preferences. So the setup succeeded. So now we have global preferences set up that will apply to every project that we work on. So now we've got the top two levels covered. We've set up our global preferences and we've also set up our project context. Now let's add folder specific rules. So different folders have different needs like component needs, UI rules, utils needs different conventions. In this next step, I'm going to show you how you can set up folder specific rules. That's again going to give Codex important context and instructions for specific folders that it might be working on. So to recap where we are at so far, we've got our global project context here, which is located at codexagents.md. That contains our global coding preferences, personal style and code quality. We then have our project level agents.md. That's located in the root of our Codex demo project folder. And that contains context related to our repo. So we've got project structure and module organization, build test and development commands, coding style and naming conventions, file naming conventions, testing guidelines, commit and pull request guidelines, and environment and configuration. Now we want to create the third level of agents.md, which is a subdirectory. So what we're going to do is create a components folder for our reusable UI pieces, things like buttons, cards, and nav bars. The reason we're going to separate that is to keep things organized. And it's perfect for the agents.md tutorial because components have unique requirements. They have accessibility rules, dark mode support, and responsive design that needs to be applied across all touch points so using project context at that subdirectory level for the components is really powerful and will allow Codex to implement our UI pieces effectively and correctly every time. So what we're going to do is follow up with another prompt for Codex. We're going to say create a components directory if it doesn't exist then create an agents.md file inside with this content. The content for the agents.md file is as follows. Components directory guidelines. All React components in this folder must include hover and focus states for interactive elements and some more rules. Component props naming and styling requirements. So we're setting these specific rules and guidelines that apply to all of the UI components that will be used in our app. So we'll hit enter here and let Codex create this uh, level 3 subdirectory agents.md file. We can see it has now created source app components. It's added the agents.md file with the requested guidelines. So future components follow the shared conventions. So now we've successfully created the three levels of agents.md files. We've got our global rules. We've got our project context. And now we've got our guidelines for subdirectories, in this case for components. And now we can have a look at the hierarchy in action. So let's say which agents.md files are you currently reading? And we'll see what Codex says. This is a great demonstration here of the uh, agents.md hierarchy. So we can see that it has responded and told me that it's basing its work on these following agents.md instructions the global agents.md and then the project level agents.md. The reason it's only reading these two is because we're currently in the Codex demo project directory. We're not in that third subdirectory location. That's why it's not reading the third one. So it's reading the first global one. It's now reading the project level one and that's it. So now what we want to do, we'll test to see if it does read the components level agents.md file when we give it a specific task in that folder. Now we can ask Codex to create a button in the components directory. Once it's created this button, we can then ask it to tell us which agents.md files it read as part of its process. And it should list all three agents.md files in its response. Because it's working now in that subdirectory where we've created the level three agents.md file, it should first read the project level agents.md file. That will remind it to then read the global level file and then it will read the 
uh, subdirectory level file in the components folder. You can see it's finished working, it's created the button. Now let's ask it which agents.md files did you read when you built the button. And we can see here it has responded. I followed the guidance in the global agents.md, the project level agents.md, and the subdirectory agents.md while building the button. So it successfully referenced and read all three levels when it built the button in the subdirectory. So that's a success. And again, an example of how powerful codecs can be when you utilize the th three levels and the cascading effect that occurs when it reads and acknowledges the global level context, the project level context, and then the subdirectory level context. So let's review the code that it wrote for the button. And here we'll be able to see the influence that each file has had. We'll be able to see the global rules that have been applied, the project level rules that have been applied, and the subdirectory level rules that have been applied as it's built the button. Firstly, we can see line 12. It's successfully followed the global rules of creating a functional component. On line 20, we can see a descriptive variable name it has used based on the global rules. We can then see on line 24 here, it says grouping the button with its feedback keeps responsive layouts predictable. It has followed our global rule here to say comment explaining why not what. So that's a global level rule that has been adhered to in the process of creating that line of code. And we can see that it's a total of 50 lines. And one of the rules we set in our global context was keep small focused functions under 50 lines. So again, another global rule that has been acknowledged in the build. From the project level agents.md file, we can see from lines 3 to 10, it has created TypeScript with strict types. And we can see on line 12, it's used a named export here, export const loading button instead of default. So another project level rule that has been acknowledged in the build. Finally, we can see the subdirectory level context from agents.md that's been followed. As an example, we wanted Boolean props naming, and we can see on line six to seven, it has used Boolean. So, so we can see that all three agents.md files have been referenced as part of the build process. And again, that just demonstrates how powerful it can be to use these three files and this uh, three level system when you're working on new projects. So to recap, we've got three levels of agents.md files we can use in this advanced workflow. Level one is global agents.md files. This includes your personal coding style. It works across all projects and it is the lowest priority if there are conflicts. We've then got level two, which is your project level agents.md files. This includes tech stack and project conventions. It works only in the project that you've created it in, and it has medium priority for uh, resolving conflicts. We then have level three, which is your folder level agents.md files. These are specific rules for this code type and works in that subdirectory folder only, and it's the highest priority. If there's any conflicts, the subdirectory folder rules get precedence. So you can see how this can not only save you a lot of time, but also enable Codex to be a lot more effective when it has clear rules and guidelines that it can follow when it's working on your projects. So I hope you enjoyed that deep dive into agents.md. Make sure you subscribe to see more. I'm going to be doing a few more mastery videos for Codex CLI on MCP integration, custom slash commands and more. So subscribe if you want to see those and thanks for watching.